Folks, I want to show you the eye touchless kitchen, bathroom, whatever you want to call it. Touchless <laughs> soap dispenser. It's got a sensor inside the doggone thing that allows you to just put your hand under it and it spits soap out on you. Okay. This is this is the unit and how it works. I'm going to show you <laughs> Um, before I talk about it in any other way, I'm just going to show you the unit. This is this is it. It's filled up with soap. I have filled it up. I've got batteries in it. The batteries are under here, underneath the unit. And uh, this is how it works. Okay. It doesn't just it doesn't just work like that. Okay. I'm not I'm not just going to get soap like that. I have to realize when I'm fixing to use uh, like chicken or some other type of a product I'm gonna I have to think ahead of time to know when I'm fixing to have to wash my hands to turn this machine on to turn it on I'll have to push that button until I get that blue light okay now that turns it on hopefully I did that before I got my hands dirty so that's why I'm saying you need to think ahead of time before you can use this machine and now you see it keeps blinking it's going to stay on while you're cutting your meat or doing your preparation of your meal or whatever the whole time it stays on ready for you to wash your hands so then you put your hand under it and it it, it senses your hand is there and it throws some soap on there okay let me wash my hand off real quick and I'll be right back Okay, I've, I've washed my hand off of all the soap or whatever whatever chicken or any kind of salmonella or anything that could have been on there. But the machine is still on. So I have to turn it back off now by touching the button on the bottom. Okay, so now the machine is off. It will not, it will not activate. Okay, to just leave it on, you're probably going to run your batteries down and uh, whatever. So... It's a little bit of an inconvenience to have to turn it on and off every time you want to use it. When it says it's touchless, you still have to touch that button to turn it on to use it. But you have to remember to touch that button before you touch any contaminated or any anything that you might feel that you need to wash your hands from. Okay? And speaking of turning it on and off, or the battery will stay, I remember I said something about the battery will stay on. Okay, the battery, let's just, uh, for, for, for purposes of this, I'm going to have to turn the camera up this way. Let me zoom out. The battery pack is on the bottom. Okay, it's on the whole bottom of the unit. What if I need to change the batteries before all of the soap is gone okay that means I gotta turn this whole unit upside down to change those batteries or I need to change the batteries above my head okay that's gonna be awful awkward it'd be like doing like this let me see if I can even get this in the camera how awkward is this to even try to film I would have to take this off above my head and change the batteries because if I flip this over upside down this container is full of soap okay and it's gonna spill soap everywhere now it says that it does not drip once it's turned off it does not drip but you can see it drips I had it in the sink now for about four hours after I filled it up and used it one time and there was soap in my, my sink so it did drip okay their claims are that it doesn't drip and blah 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 I mean if you look up the videos that they put out it just really doesn't perform 
to what they say it does. And the battery thing is the, the biggest thing to me. What am I going to do with all that soap when I got to change the batteries? I don't know. Let me show you one more time how this thing operates. This is how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to sit turned off, okay, while you're not using it. So let's decide, I come in to the kitchen and I think, oh, I need to uh, prepare some chicken, okay? And I'm going to have to wash my hands after I prepare that chicken, right? Well, you don't want to touch that with chicken on your hands. So, you need to go ahead and touch it now. And turn it, oops, I'm sorry, and go ahead and touch it now. And turn it on. Okay? Now, I'm fitting to process chicken for maybe 20 minutes or who knows how long does it take you to process chicken it depends on how big your family is depends on what meal you're making what kind of a menu you have this thing could be running for a half an hour to an hour while you're cutting up chicken or different other meats and, and making your meals um, and it's sitting there running the battery down which it is four triple A batteries which are very difficult to get to with soap in the machine all right, so it's, re it's ready for me to go. But let's just consider if I were sitting here cutting up a chicken or a turkey or something like that that, you know, really n required you to wash your hands before touching containers or uh, forks and knives, uh, bowls, plates, pans, dishes, other things. Or, you know, I'm processing chicken. I might want to put it in the oven and have to turn the knob on the oven to turn the oven on well you want to wash your hands before you do that so this thing has to stay on running off that battery power the whole time waiting on you to stick your hand under it I just I think that's a bad design also it should go into a sleep mode when it does not uh, detect motion but that's not how it works it's either on or off and to turn it on or off you have to touch it so therefore the name touchless let me zoom in better touchless is BS it is not touchless unless you want a freaking go through four batteries every day or I don't, I don't know how long those four batteries are going to last I haven't done that test and I really don't want to but um, <clears throat> maybe I filled it up too much and that's why I got soap in my sink after a few hours there was soap down in my sink so right now as you can see there's no soap in my sink I cleaned it I'm just going to leave it sit there, but let me turn it off, okay? Let me turn it off. That's off. Okay, see, it's off. No, no activation. I'm going to leave the camera here, and I will come back in uh, a couple hours, and we'll see if there's any soap down here right underneath it and see if anything dripped. Let me just add this, folks. This is advertised as touchless, but to use it, you have to touch it once to turn it on before you can use it, and then you have to touch it again to turn it off after you've cleaned your hands. So you have to touch this twice to use it one time. There's nothing touchless about that machine. Okay, folks, it's been a few hours. And we're going to look down here in the sink and uh, we're going to see that soap right there. It's been leaking a little bit at a time as it goes. So, if you buy one, hang it over the sink or else you're going to have soap all over your counter. This is the Eye Touchless Soap Dispenser, which is not touchless. And here's how it drips. 
that slowly comes out as you can see.